going to actually uh, switch this over so everybody can see me. It is August 29th, 2020. I'm 40. I'm Jeff. There's a Gary way down in the, the center middle. And I've got a bunch of friends with me to celebrate my 40th birthday. Yay! Yay. Yeah! So in, the, in the live feed, Ed's on top of me. Yeah, and, and Smash is on top of Ed. And if I'm correct, Ed is the, going to be at least be the one silver one. I don't know if anybody else is here is, is, is going to, to be our designated yeah. drivers. I will be a designated driver. I am. Driver. Okay, so we got we got a couple of designated oh, wow. drivers. <laughs> half, half, half of the are like, oh, oh. I don't know. In all fairness, my medical reasons, I'm on a bunch of medications, and alcohol just does absolutely awful things to me and will mess me up for days, so I can't. If yeah, I drink, I, I can't walk. Oh, ouch. Yeah. That's that's I, not good. I don't I break out of handcuffs. Yeah, that's probably a, not a good good idea. All right. So uh, here's the rules of the power hour for those those who have not seen a uh, Seawell power hour or participated in one. Basically, uh, we're going to hear uh, 61 of, and I hope you can hear it. I'm going to... I'm going to turn up the volume to make sure it's heard. When you hear that sound and you're participating in the drinking, uh, you will drink so right now. a shot of beer. We're not starting yet. No. <laughs> not for at least not three minutes, minutes early. <laughs> We're going to have a shot of beer or some other less alcoholic thing because you don't want to drink like 60 shots of beer. Uh, uh, of spirits. like spirits so beer i'm going to go with the dos Equis. oh jesus oh dear, AJ. <laughs> AJ. <laughs> all right i'm going what? with the dos Equis because i stopped that at supermercado and why not it, it's it's uh, it's a, a mexican beer or a mexican store uh additional rule that we have for the uh, power hour is once we hit the the ding dong for your age the shot for your age you remove your shirt fortunately we're not doing on this uh this on twitch because because shirtless slash nipples um uh are against their terms of service but here yeah. on youtube yeah it's not really yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's why i don't have a twitch account I mean, I have so, a Twitch account, but that's just so I can watch other Twitches. That's all. <laughs> no, we're not talking about Chatterbait. We're talking about Twitch. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> We're only <laughs> I gotta read it. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Mm. Uh, but we're going to do starting this in about uh two minutes here uh make sure you have drink it's uh, i actually only have like four containers for shots right now uh so i'll probably be doing a lot of uh, this uh designated drivers designated drivers uh if yes. you're very welcome to ensure that we are on the correct count um uh, mine should be relatively accurate because i can see the numbers uh because i set this ding dog to be a minute each and i got it on garage band so i'm seeing the lines on it goes by so i should have it but should. it's good to have have like people who are not getting drunk uh, uh keeping track as well i'm gonna get caffeinated instead Caffeine, caffeine is a good thing. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm thinking about how dangerous 60 ounces of a caffeinated beverage in an hour could be. I mean, I have it's trouble with... It's not a good time. I, I, I have trouble with the, the uh, like, the 12 mark on my coffee pot if I drink that in a day. So I, I would hate to, to see it myself. I got some lemonade and some backup. Uh, I have a cast. Actually, can't drink caffeine. Speaking of drinks for this? Actually, can't drink caffeinated drinks anymore. I used to drink I'm the veins, and those are water, like... So. Yeah. And those were like what? Was that own? 
Those are like 300 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. Yeah. Some okay. people, it, caffeine affects people differently. So yeah. make sure you know how caffeine affects you. Fortunately, I'm in the mid route. Um, uh, and I drink one or two cups a day. And cups, I mean by like actual mugs, not by like how much they actually recommend as serving sides. Any case, it is 4.30. This first ring just means that we're starting the power hour. So we will have the first shot in about a minute. So here we go. Three, two, one. One. Come on. One. So that's the start, not the first shot. <laughs> but the f Somebody gets the door first. It's a party. Yeah, it's we're going to... And that's how it's going to uh, be. In case anybody this. was remotely interested, a Starbucks Trenta is 31 ounces. So in the course of this hour, you would basically drink two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I like how everybody's like, oh, all right, like, this is not right, a big deal. I'll drink coffee. So right. <laughs> Interesting fun facts. I do drink a lot of coffee, but this is some tea that my partner made, so yum. Wow. Tea is always good, too. Speaking of which, uh, did you see, uh, Gary, did you see Canada's Drag Race this week? No, um, I have not been watching it, only because I didn't really want to pay for another season of something. Oops. That's why I have a Twitch account, so I can watch <laughs> Canada's Drag Race on Twitch. Is it? Okay. It's on Twitch? I also, I, honestly, I also needed a break from the universe of, of, of RuPaul's Drag Race. It's bad enough I, I have a, a Twitter account because I see all the stuff that people post and I'm, yeah. So I know that someone got robbed and people are upset and they don't like the judges and everybody has high opinions about this and I'm just like, I'm kind of maybe glad I'm not watching. Pro, that time. might be the case, but the, but Okay, the queen had the best exit. Uh, basically, somebody beat Vanji for the best exit. Oh, the, I all I saw is that someone crawled off the stage. Yeah, that would be Jimbo. Scream, why? Brooke said, bye, Jimbo. And Jimbo said, fuck you. <laughs> As someone who doesn't watch... Oh. That's two. Someone doesn't watch Drag Race. I learned more about Drag Race by not watching it than I probably would have watching it. And That's so I, don't, I feel like we should get back into it. I'd love to get into it. It's just I'm just I don't think I'm very good at Drag Race, so I tend to just miss it all. Plus, I don't really have a medium to watch over here except for Netflix or Twitch, apparently. Yeah. Twitch shows a lot of different TV shows. Well, I mean, I learned in the last season how to watch it live on Twitch, even though I paid for it on Apple, you know, so. Oh, alternative version ways of, of watching Drag Race. I, well, the reality is I, I turned would. my Twitch on and I was like, oh, someone's live repeating, like streaming it. Okay. I would try to be into it, but Drag Race falls into the category of like reality TV. And I just can't stand that. Yeah, I feel ya. So what is everybody drinking? I got my Dos Equis, which isn't that great, but hey, it works. Okay, I'm well, after you. No, I'm just drinking water. So. Oh yeah, you're one of those. Keeping the, hydrated. Uh, Keeping hydrated. Is it is I'm it fruitified or flavored with drops or anything? No, just oh. water. I'm on um, a Guardian Classic of Super Malts because that's what I love when I want to get horribly wasted without actually getting wasted. Oh. Okay. It's a fairly heavy drink. Um, you can practically have it as a meal. It's like Guinness, but non-alcoholic. And the more I drink it, the real tired it becomes. AJ, is that a white claw? Yes. <clears throat> which, which kind? Lemon. 
it is left over from I don't know, maybe six months ago, eight months ago. Who knows? I was like, if you're gonna be shady, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not from it's that. Not from that. No. Okay. No, it's not from then. It's not from when Gary had visited, like over a year ago. Uh, yeah. Year and a half ago. Year, remind- year eight months ago. Yeah. Okay. Someone remind me about the contents of White Claw. Uh, I feel like it's an American thing. Mm. Uh, spiked, spiked sparkling water with um, hints of fruits. This one is lemon. It's for basic Not bitches. Bad. You know, they dip homosexuals in it for a hint. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just a hint to fruit. It's like the uh, LaCroix, uh, I'm sorry, LaCroix, but alcoholic. I don't know what LaCroix is. Oh, okay. It, don't it, don't it, worry, it, you don't want to know. Don't, it's, don't, un, don't worry. It's, it's basically unflavored flavored water. It's, it's, it, it's bougie figo. It's like you it's take terrible. the water and you take the fruit and you put them next to each other. And the flavor from the fruit sort of flows into the water, yes. but not actually. It's like, uh, yeah. drink this. Yeah. We're, we're like strawberry rolled by one day. And there's like yes. a hint of strawberry. Hint of, hint of, hint of lime. So it's like a banana <laughs> crawled up and said, hey, can I come over water? It didn't. <laughs> so to help explain to our non Americans, uh, Flavored seltzers are a big thing in the U.S. because the U.S. is so body conscious about our image and everything. It took over the marketplace that you would make all these drinks that have like zero calories, zero sweeteners, but they have some taste. Because drinking straight water for most people is an abomination, apparently. That's what I'm having. We've made flavored stuff. Well, personally, I don't like straight water. I have no discounting. Uh, let's see. We're coming up on seven. Oh, yeah, Jeff, so I'm, having, I... um, I'm drinking uh, Wild Cherry Clear Splash's <laughs> brother, um, Blackberry Apple Clear Splash. Oh. oh! That is a lot of words. They, yeah, it really is. That's the essence of what's called. Rip Wild Cherry Clear Splash. Yeah. If you that, was my, really that was that was my first Dungeons and Dragons character that uh, tragically <laughs> died because uh, I, I I decided to shoot a light bolt, a lightning bolt at his character and his bar, his uh, friend. Oh, it was on the sheet. <laughs> I'm like, what does this guy do? Well, he's gonna try to kill these two, and he did on a side quest. <laughs> it was a tough side quest. <laughs> God. Uh, so, to show how basic I am, I bought uh, Leinen Kugel Spritzen, and it's a <laughs> multi flavor pack. I mean, I applaud so you for for uh, for getting something that's Leinies. Well, it's beer with a splash of seltzer. I mean, so there are three flavors. My drunk history includes Leine, a bunch of Leinen Kugel honey buys. What is Wine Kugel again? Wine and Kugels is a uh, beer crafted in uh, Wisconsin. Yeah. It, well, it's a company mm. that crafts beer in Wisconsin. So it's it's very popular in the Midwest. Or is okay. more well known in the Midwest. Oh. So I, 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 I kind of grew up with it. Tip the can that's empty. There we go. Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Fort Worth, Texas. Which would explain why I can get at least some lightning cools down here. Union made. Recyclable alum- aluminum. Thank you. Thank you very much. You were about to say aluminum, and I feel my face, feel my face slowly start to crack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, just for you, we'll add a bunch of U's to random words. I mean, we say color. So you mean say the word correctly, right? Okay, got it. Yeah. No, 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 no. 
I have to give a shout out to Eddie Azard because he has the best light ever about English language, and he's like, we pronounce it as herb because there's a fucking H, H in it. In it. <laughs> <laughs> You say herb, we say herb because there's a fucking H in it. Yeah. <laughs> what was what was the argument about that? It's the same thing about why you have cookies and biscuits. Because you tried apparently um, America wanted to get away from the British idea of biscuits, so they invented the word cookies. Something like that, yeah. Or something cookies similar like that. Cookies and biscuits are the same thing. I mean, if you try to refreeze them fly, it's not really well. I mean, All right. when I think of biscuit, I don't think of... I think of, like, fluffy yeah. things. Well, cookies aren't well, as fluffy. Right. But see, when, the in, when those from the UK come over and they have our version of a biscuit, they're like, oh, it's like a scone. Right. So, yeah. but it's not like a scone. Well, that's the that same thing as like chips. <laughs> chips are the same way. Oh yeah, yeah, that I don't quite understand. But hey, okay, okay. So, 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 chips and crisps are separate. Right, right, right. right, 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 right. Chips is called crisps. We call fries. But fries are in two varieties. There's chunky fries, which are chips, and then there's thin fries, which are fries. Right. So now you have a separation. So you have crisps, mm. chips, and fries. And everybody's happy. So what was interesting to me is I subscribed to one of those loot crate type boxes um, that did snacks. Um, mm -hmm. Different snacks from different countries. So it was really interesting to see that some of the same snacks that we have, that, that we call one thing, are different over in England. Um, they're called either different things, or if it's got the same name, they're totally different, uh, like uh, candy bars and such like that. Um, that was that was really neat trying the different candies and stuff from different countries because it's got they've got totally different tastes and everything. Uh, to well, I will say this: whenever I get to the UK, I'm going to get some quote unquote fresh digestives, bitch, because that's the one thing that I've learned that I like. So. Because when I get them here in the in the U.S., they're probably a little aged. Well, Gary, you always tend to do um, Pride in Columbus, don't you, or something similar like that? Don't you? Uh, when there is not a pandemic, that's not a pandemic. I mean, interstate, <laughs> like well, during normal time of year. I have a convention that usually coincides with that pride. If I do turn up and you're there, I'll bring you some digestives. Oh. And not in a creepy, like, hi, Gary, kind of way. Please do it that way, though. I will, hold it. Yes. I will be going, hi, yeah. Gary. AJ and Ed want to be present, apparently, for the for the creepiness. Hi, Gary. Hey, Floyd. Here's some digestives for you. Do it with a little crouch. <laughs> And then give it, and then just kind of like <laughs> an Igor way. Mm. Gotta, gotta. Oh look! Get why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? That's literally how I greet anybody. Just, ah! <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many beats I'm talking about going high, guys. I'm just, I'm just oh, yeah. People dig the servant look. It's great. <laughs> I keep drinking out of context. <laughs> so <laughs> we're trying to control the speed of the drinking. It's just so delicious. I know. I understand. Although I, I have a Dos Equis, which is not the best beer, needless to say. But I am, um, as y'all can see, my my genetics are in play because I have been imbibing alcohol, and hence. I am now turning, turning red. Of red. Yeah. So, Came from my father because my dad used to say he'd come home from drinking. My mother'd say, You've been drinking. He's like, How do you know? She <laughs> wouldn't tell him. Yeah, you can't. I'm like, that's rude. Uh, so, I, I don't think I actually mentioned in many public places, but uh, to start 
my uh, birthday week off last Tuesday, I think. I was buying my beer for this. And I was coming back from the supermercado with a couple of groceries and uh, a case of beer. I actually got a 12 pack just because, hey, I don't drink very much. Might as well have some extras. And uh, I I walk in, I'm walking down the, the concrete path, see one of our maintenance people. I give away and I step right off the path onto the rocks and I took a Oh stroke. no. Yep. Are you okay? Um, I'm, I'm fine. Except... Oh. Now, I, I landed squarely on this hand, so now it uh, hurts a little bit. Uh, and you don't want to see my knees. Oh, welcome to the now. I'm like, I now feel old. Save the hips. Save the hips. The, the hips are fine. Fortunately, the <laughs> hips are fine. So what I'm hearing is that your playtime is more about being horizontal as opposed to a kneeling. I mean, wasn't that normal for me? I don't know. I haven't tapped into the webcam in your bedroom, so I mean... <laughs> tapped the webcam in the bedroom yet. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. no. Let's not be inserting extra words there. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, as far as I know, I there respect... is no webcam in yeah. my bedroom, but that's as far as I know. I respect people's privacy. What, what's Although I do enjoy watching... Hidden videos, so that's the whole issue. I prefer fake hidden videos where I'm like, oh, I know it's consensual. Okay, that's all right, then I feel better now. Well, in all fairness, the majority of those are consensual. I've never understood well, that, actually. What's that? Well, we all like the whole idea of like, it's like the voyeurish idea of peeping Tom thing going on. But I always get really worried that someone who doesn't want to be on camera probably shouldn't be. But we have so much hidden camera porn that always makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Where I'm like, that guy probably has a wife and kids and he's just trying to get some steam off, love some steam. And now he's all over Xtube and we're all jacking up to it. And I'm like, ugh, I kind of I kind of feel bad. I'm horny, but I kind of feel bad about it. And I'm like, ugh, I don't know if it's just a good idea. Plus, side, yeah. uh, plus yeah. I had a bunch of those videos that the creator takes the time to blur out their face. Which is great. I appreciate that. Or or they've I ended still. enough so that you don't see right. their face. Yeah. You get camera angle, you know, yeah. that stuff. I still feel it's a breach of privacy in some kind of way. And I'm still like, I wouldn't want that to happen to me, blank faced or not. Yeah, well, and then usually the quality is not enough where it's like you can try to figure out some identifying marks. So there's that. Yeah, it still happens, but eh. I bore a trick by the ones that can see the cameras, and I said with an S, the multiples, right? And they're and they don't look into camera, but it's very much amateur, and they seem to not care. Right. <laughs> AJ's <gonna make> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Pointing out his shirt. By the way, I think he's I think he's imitating. By the way, Some I want what to. He he's I want to strongly <laughs> thank uh, the guy that that I'm pointing to right now, uh, the Smashy, for designing those wonderful consent as my four play shirts. Yes. Who's, who's, wearing, those? who's wearing? Is everyone wearing those shirts? Everyone is everyone. <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm wearing his. Wearing his. Three. I'm wearing my gamer shirt. I'm wearing my gamer shirt. <laughs> Represent ya! This is the only place in my life where I can wear this shirt without feeling slightly self-conscious. I'm really sorry. I love you all. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. That's no, I, I wore mine up to take the trash out the other night. Are you kidding? So, fuck it. And I live in red state Missouri, which, you know, fuck that. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. red with a, with a dot of blue. -ish. Oh, I'm not in that dot of blue at all. <laughs> uh, the dot of blue? Is it dot of blue, Texas, with Austin? Yeah. Well, no, there's several. There's several many red states that have uh, dots of blue because the yeah. population. Yeah, Kansas City and St. Louis are definitely dots of blue, but I am not in St. Louis. I am on the very far western edges of the suburbs. No, 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 no. I am their nightmare. And and did I see that right, uh, Lloyd? And you have the uh, trans flag one. Yep. When all in that trans flag, we... it was. I mean, for one thing, uh, the bear flag. That's for sure. I was like, nope, I'm 100 trans. Let's do something else. You actually, we recently discussed, I think, in a show about whether or not to expand with other color combinations. 
Now, um, Critical Role has their um, uh, Don't Forget to Love Each Other shirts and mugs now. Um, and they have uh, basically D20s using the colors of various pride flags. Uh, and there's like 11 of them or 12 of them. Yeah, wow. there's, a bunch. I really, there's a bunch of them now. Yeah. I really want the new pride flag with the triangle across. I, I've been like, I want to get one, but I don't have a place to fly it in my room. And I'm really annoyed by that. Because I'd love to, to put that on, like at the front of my house or something. If I lived with my brother and I didn't think he'd really protest to that, I would. But I want one just for my house with put up on the wall somewhere. I love how Ed uh, drinks a sip of water every time this rings. So he's probably going to have to pee, really. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm fully prepared to run to the bathroom and sit quickly. He's, he's imbibing the same amount of fluid as the rest of us. I mean... If he's going shot for shot, and it all goes down his gullet like it's supposed to, then, you know, at the end, he'll have 60 ounces in him. Yeah, and, and it'll come out just the same way as he's all of before. Yeah, this is true. Uh, I, I mean, just... and this is just a single power hour. If we were going longer, I could see people needing, like, you know, urine, portable urinals, or catheters, foleys, you know, just things to be able to get through. By the way, yeah. we're, we're just yeah. about to hit drinking age, by the way, which all of you should already be at this one. Well, 18. <laughs> Let me make and a the... correction. The U.S. Drinking age. Right, and the United States. Ah, okay. Let me, if, let me wait, make that correction. Wait, but did you know... If you're a state that chooses to participate, the drinking age is 21. Otherwise, you can make it less. Does that mean one of the 21st minute then? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we've had right. our... Live in the dream, Live in the 21. Dream. I've already started started pouring. I have a, a multiple glasses. Started pouring my third beer, so... Should, uh, a couple more. We should be at our... Oh, God. I'm curious to know who our who our youngest is. I already know which of us, it, unfortunately, is the oldest. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking at him right now, and he's in the bottom center. I think. I don't know everybody's age, so I'm not going to quote him. Don't quote me on that. Jeff, are you talking about oldest or youngest? I'm talking about oldest. I'm just thinking with what you were yeah, talking okay. about. Gary, you're in the, front, the the middle center. Just a heads up. Just no, I I have a live feed up. I can see. I'm I'm <laughs> aware. Thank you, Lloyd. I was, but the way he said it, as I was talking about the youngest, and then someone said they think it's going to be Owen or Lloyd, maybe. And I was like, and then I looked at the live feed. I was like, wait, neither of them. It's me. I, no. It's going to be Owen. Owen is much younger than me. I think. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out soon enough. <laughs> Grace. Stop it. <laughs> <I'm pretty good. laughs> but, uh, yeah, you never know. But needless to say, uh, also I found out that the first aid kit I have doesn't necessarily have all the correct bandages that I wanted, so I had to use some gauze, and now I've got some stuck to a scab wound. Oh, oh that's not the wrong right glass. I need to refill that. Uh, here we go. So, well, the good news is, in time, eventually, if you could wait that long enough, Jeff, it will not be an issue because all of that will come away. Yeah, I figured as much. I'm not too worried about it. In any case, my scab is kind of protected because it has a, it has cause on it. Hey, Ooh, this is very. I also took a look at Amazon to see like like for like more proper like larger first aid kits being like hey if this happens to me again I want to be prepared and they're like 40 bucks or something like that depending on how depending on how, how, how big oh excuse me how big of a kit I'm gonna take it from a shot glass this man <laughs> So we're at what, 20, 25 in and Jeff's starting to... <laughs> 24, 24. 
Ah, oh, 24. To be 24 again. Oh, no. 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 No, no. Oh, yes, yes. Suck now. <laughs> no. Oh, God. I was young. Right, I'll, I I'll was grant. Young. I was... I'll grant that. If I heard AJ correctly, everything was tighter then. So yes, I was smaller. <laughs> I was more limber. Like I had more potential, but I was one year out of college, still not aware of the bear community yet. So yeah, it's not exactly the best time. But if you could yes, go well, back in time and be 24 again, with all the knowledge you have now, would it not be awesome? Um, yeah, I would have said get the fuck out of Peterborough. Uh, I would have actually, uh, I would have not made the decision to move to Austin. Oh, I would have absolutely oh. not. Well, let's, let's rethink it in the way that I was, which is... Take who you are today, but just reverse yourself back to 24. Not back in time, but that you could be 24 today. Oh. And with that in mind, I would probably have a Just for Fans account. <laughs> and... <laughs> that little sugar daddy. Gary, Gary don't, don't let your dreams, Gary. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's there's time, I still time. I well, no, because I'm like, because knowing what I know now, I'm like, oh, I could have all the daddies, like, <laughs> all the daddies. That would all of them just lined up on play. It's more of I could probably have been more of a slut at that time, and I and don't yeah, get me wrong, same. I don't slut shame. I I am like, if you want to be be a slut, yeah, yeah, good on you. In fact. My my Dragonborn, which is on the campaign that's on today, uh, when he's not actually like in a, doing adventuring, but he's in town, is a complete and utter slut. In fact, we found the information we need for one of ours because uh, I uh, 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 had sex with another guy with uh, the innkeeper who had the information. So, speaking of, now I have to remember what the hell the name of that game is. Damn it! Please tell me, Jeff, you did sex. In combat, That's no, no, it wasn't in combat. Old, old I mean, don't get me wrong. He, uh, uh, for this, he had me roll uh, a few checks, but it was not an in combat thing. Damn. So basically, Mister Mrs. Smith. <laughs> what number are we on the game? So far, the grapefruit is the best. Uh, That's that was twenty-seven. Oh, okay, so those are keeping count. Do I need to now call out the uh, numbers just to make sure we're getting close? If we're getting close to you, may to need to. Yeah. Help, help a brother out. I mean, Smash Cookies already half there, so we're pretend. He's such an overachiever. Well, he's he's also not participating in the direct drinking. He's just participating True. in the join. And don't get me wrong, I, I love Smash, like to death. To death. Um, yes. He's a hottie. He's a cutie. Scroll. He's Back such a sweet there. guy, and he he makes great designs. Mm -hmm. Hence, and four of our shirts. Mm -hmm. He's completely insane right now with this amazing project that he keeps making pipe fonts, and I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> it was not something that I really like think much about until I see it in my stream, and then I'm like on Twitter, and I'm like, oh look at that. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I've been jamming. My, I've been basically ramming my head into the wall multiple times over that project. Yeah. But do you like ramming your head into the wall? I mean, that's really kind of what this is about. Yeah. That's well, true. I mean, it's it's not the same as as headbutting something like at the end of a dirty shame, but you know, it gets me off. <laughs> Uh, I also just want to say I got a message from uh, uh, Dr. Cisco Salgado, um, who said, Happy birthday, Jeff. I hope the power hour is all you want it to be. Cub hugs. Aww. 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 All right. Aww, hugs so for back. those of We you... mentioned you here. Oh, good lord. <laughs> there you go. I replied back. Okay. All right. We're hitting, we're hitting now. I think we're about halfway through. So, for those of you that have not heard of this, nope, there is an amazing game 
coming very soon called Robin Morningwood Adventure. Morning. Does anybody else know what I'm talking about? No. 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 Okay, so... Hello. It is an animated video game that is being developed, and it is about the fact that you go to um, the village of Welcome, that's W-E-L-L-C-U-M, mm -hmm. and you have mm -hmm. sex with all of the men of the village to gain things, including strengths and, you know, uh, other rewards, and you try to figure out the secret of the village. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's a demo right now, but it's going to be available for sale, I think, at the 1st of September, roughly. We are now at the halfway point at 30. Jeff, I think we should try to see if we can get the game developers on the podcast. Uh, you're very welcome to, to uh, try checking them out. Yay! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you're kind of the content producer, and uh, we have our first Lost Shirt. Uh, Smashy didn't start with the shirt to begin with, so he doesn't count. I kind of knew I was the youngest one. And it was going to be okay. no matter what. We, we, we kind of knew as well. When we get to Smashy's number, he could just take his shorts off. We won't be able to see it, but we'll trust <laughs> that in, you know, in faith that he's, you know, that, I don't know. Know. That, another that would be... Saturday, another constant peeling my testicles off of the uh, off of my chair, which is a little uh, more awkward these uh, days, thanks to the piercing. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Oh. Here we go. All right. So, where should we be right now uh, in beers? Uh, I I have three ounces uh, left of uh, my third beer. How many are you All doing? Right. Twelve ounce bottles. Yeah. Uh, that would be 36 ounces. And if we're at 31, then you should have four left over. Un, like, undrank. <laughs> Undrinking. Actually, five, sorry. Uh, no, 31 we're, at, we're at 31. So, okay. no, this is right. 32, 33, 34. Okay, okay, I'm good. So, do you know why Jeff is freaking out about this? Because one year... He basically oh, drank, yeah. I think, one and a half times <laughs> the normal amount. Yeah, I, I drank six beers in 60 minutes, wasn't which isn't what you're supposed to do. Oh, no, that was like three years ago, I think. Oh, last year was actually very accurate. And then there's the year that Damon drank. <laughs> I don't even know what he drank that year. He was drinking like some sort of cocktail that he put in a pusher. But he miscalculated the percentages, and I think he basically drank close to double. Oh, God. So... It, it was not good. <laughs> he but did here's complete the, thing the is... power hour. <laughs> and here's the thing I is... Did... I, 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 don't, I don't blame anybody for not being able to complete it. It is, it is not necessarily a positive accomplishment for being able to complete a power hour. Right. It is a fun accomplishment to complete a power hour. Don't get me wrong. At least I believe so. Uh, but um, it is completing a power hour is not something that's going to necessarily put you in any credibility. It's not something that's, that you can put on a power or, or, or on a resume saying completed so many power hours uh because i mean besides the fact that you can do prep time stuff so you, you can prepare for it and be but ready the highest, the highest of achievements i completed the power hour. <laughs> say i have good constitution i was able to complete a power power hour successfully so, by the way, burping is encouraged. <laughs> what is this? You're oh, it's my theory? busy game. Right? Oh, okay, that's the game. Okay, I was muted. Oh, that's um, um, it's not did a Peter and Nicole pizza or something like uh, that. So I was yeah. about to say the worst <laughs> thing about the power hour with a carbonated beverage is the burping part because mm -hmm. it's required. And here's the thing: is when you're having a power hour. 
you're very welcome to burp and burp as loud as you possibly can. I'm one to find burping sexy. Nice. Ooh, hey, Cisco is getting a tattoo, so that's why he's not intending. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding this okay. Figure if anybody, <laughs> if you say if you go to the chat in the Google Meet and you click on the link, this is the game that I was talking about. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put. I have played screen. the demo. I have also done um, things to myself while playing the demo. Yes. I'm not ashamed to say that. <laughs> I mean, there, I there's going to be a game. Windows, Mac, and Android version, mainly because it wouldn't pass through what iOS. Number is it? What number? That's uh, 35. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, oh, AJ. Oh, we're get an AJ. Yeah, we're five we away go. from <clears throat> Well, I'm one off. Fuzzy didn't happen. Fuzzy so I've got to say, I, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at these images. Well, first of all, what kills me is the video trailer. It just has my preview image. Just says, "Get ready to sniff." Yes. <laughs> Which, sure. Okay. Because then, in the game, eventually, when you buy the real version, you can sniff jock straps, and then you can actually relive the sexual moment that happened that was tied to the jock oh, straps. By the way, I'm showing I'm telling you, you have to get this game if you can afford it when it comes out. That last One. image, that last image of the preview right. images on the right is amazing. I'm going. I'm going to have to uh, share this with my D and D folks. Oh, the one where he's getting nailed in bed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, no. It's... Trust, it is legit. 38. NF, uh, we got another shirt off. Work game. You are to be 18 and older. Oh! Were well, there are times got, in my life got... that I... Oh, oh, oh. Josh took his shirt off. Uh, we got two 38 year olds. We got four out of nine people with their shirt off. Well, actually, five out of nine people, but again, Smash, he already had his shirt off, so. Again, Saturday, who needs a fucking shirt? I mean, that's what I do for the rest of the week right now, being that I work from home. Well, I will <laughs> my say this. My workspace is right over there right now. I will be relieved when we reach my age because. I'm getting hot wearing a shirt, so I would like to be able to take it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I've got the door closed to my office here, and it is uh, god awful. Is that 39? Still so hot. Is that 37? Uh, I'm already getting cold. <laughs> so I now have three empty cans. There you go. Uh, I'm halfway through my fourth bottle. I was going to say right. that I, I did the same thing as Damon did, where I made a uh, cocktail basically ginger whiskey, but I was a little more heavy-handed on the, uh, the ginger ale, so. More heavy-handed on the ginger ale versus the whiskey, that's probably better. Yeah. I was yeah, just gonna say so. that was the best choice, Owen. <laughs> yeah, yeah do, so. do, for a power power hour, if you're not using <clears throat> beer and making a cocktail, it's best to go the, go with the better the other way. <laughs> Watching David one. go off screen and not return for a number of minutes <laughs> is very disconcerting <laughs> during this during power I hour. Not, I did not want to get asked up. That's not something I want to do. I got two more of these. Because I remembered when that happened, and all I kept thinking is, what do we do? Like, no one, no one's there. Like, how does anybody <laughs> check on it? But to be fair, the one that took the power hour of all time was Perrin when they joined late oh, after being out at the bar and drinking at a fundraiser. Oh and then God. took us literally and was doing shots every minute to catch up. How the fuck did they not oh. involve themselves? I don't oh. know. Well, it, but this was well. this was when Perrin was young and dumb and full of cum, so <laughs> Well I don't I think can they understand were full of the DNA at the moment, but you know. <laughs> oh, now that's thirty nine. I can understand why that happened. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, 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 oh
Uh, we we, hey, we so can't see it, but it turns. Plus, plus side, all we saw was belly, okay. which is perfectly fine for me because you know I'm more of a belly fan, anyways. Uh, yeah, I was making, I was trying to make sure that nothing else got caught on camera. Yeah. Did it? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate it. And then he... <laughs> we got two people fanning themselves. I am literally really warm at the moment. And it's just perfect timing for Smashy almost showing the Smashies. So, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. and to that, uh, almost I'm showing the new jewelry. Color. All right. Oh, Jesus. Look, once we got the... Uh, that was 40. That was 40. So now it's your turn. All right. It's Jeff's turn. Hey. And while hey. he has his microphone off, here, his, his headphone off, and now I just realized I don't know what the hell we're going to do when we're all past 60. I think we're screwed. That's what I think it is. <laughs> Wait, I mean, well, hopefully we'll be good by then. So be all good. Metamucil. Metamucil. Oh, no. Ex no. Excuse you. No. I have a very healthy bowel and colon. Thank you very much. I don't need to do shots of Metamucil. <laughs> and, 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 and you have your colon checked every five, five years, right? Every five months. Uh, now it's going to be every five years. It was, it was quite <laughs> often recently, as I posted again about today, unexpectedly. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Rest folks. in power. Oh shit, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. I have to admit, I think I'm going to survive this. Oh, Ed is only a year older than I am. Hey. I don't think I've seen that tattoo before. What? What is? What You're is, what is this ink business? Oh wait a minute, I oh, have seen it. Oh, a neat detail to it too. <gasps> oh, I've seen that up oh, close damn. and personal. I'm sure you have. <gasps> you sure? Wait, have. so. Is it what what animal is it? Because I have two choices. I wasn't sure which one. Oh, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. It is? Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, my tattoos are pretty yeah, simple. That's it. At one. We got two. But they're based off of album covers of garbage singles from their version 2.0 days. My um, affinity to hating needles anywhere near my body has prevented me from getting the tattoos. Oh, that's ah. too bad. Oh. I'm so the good needles. news is, Lloyd, you can actually get temporary tattoos. Yay! Uh, Damon... Oh shit, I'm the only one wearing a shirt. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're, we're already... We already I just mentioned. looked at the whole room. I was like, God. Um, "Live in the dream, no, Gary. Live in the dream." Like uh, David talked about it on the podcast. I think about a month and a half ago. So, oh, like, yeah. um, and uh, I think AJ, you've used the product as well as I have. It's a temporary um, tattoo company, and I'm blanking on it right now. I think it's called Inkbox. Inkbox. Yeah. And so you can either pick a pre-done design or you can submit a design and then you can get it. And um, it uses a vegetable-based uh, ink and it is a temporary tattoo. But Damon's big thing, because of all the melanin in his skin, melanin. wasn't sure how well it would take. Hmm. And it actually turned That's out pretty good. Hold on. I need to check that because you said melanin. Yeah. Uh, I melanin. Think melanin. Melanin. Uh, I thought I was just the way American said it. No. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it Melanin? Is it okay? I guess. No. Uh, <laughs> Gary's face is getting red. <laughs> if you didn't know any, if you didn't know any better, you would think somebody like was restricting my airway in a consensual scene. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for lack of trying. Melanin. <laughs> Melanin. Okay, so I, I just pulled up Google, and if you're you're listening to the stream, you'll hear this. Melanin. It's pronounced melanin. Yeah. Not it's... melanin. Melanin. Malarkey. <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs> do, 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 do. Valley who? 
for anybody that's been listening to the podcast for a long time, they already know I have a proclivity for inventing words. So this is not a surprise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. I mean, we used to have a whole segment devoted to Urban Dictionary with Gary, but, you know, kind of went on the wet side. But Well, we changed format over the years. We try to be fresh and hip. True. So, uh, <laughs> and and cut the podcast down a little bit by... Josh, by, um... I love you so much! <laughs> Josh was like, <laughs> Yeah, you try. That's it, girl. You try. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Josh is like the brilliant, brilliant uh, video artiste, at least with his side productions. Well, we try. The, the I, only... we, we started modeling our live stream off of what you guys did, though, because I had such uh, good role models to look up to. So when we do our live stream on Monday nights, we we are inspired by what you guys have done. Yeah. Oh. And, and I actually even use your run of show template as our, our run of show template. Oh wow, really? Nikki, I'm it says really comes out loud. That. Like you should really rebrand. <laughs> no, I mean I just I, I I'm not good at branding, that's my problem. I'm just I really mean, not good at that. I'm happy to have known uh, uh, Nikki in person, but me being the shy introvert person, I've not been going out much or actually hanging out with people. Much. But when I moved down here to, to Austin, one of the first people that Carl introduced me to was Nikki himself. Um, so uh, I have been a big fan of Nikki for many, many, many years. And got to know him and his partner in many there different ways. There we go. Go. We made it. There we go. Yay! He's probably more happy than now. Now, Grandpa Gary uh, can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. um, double kudos for rap faster on for saying that beautiful <laughs> oh, perfection and, and no. you did notice that i paused before i said that until his headphones got put on <laughs> so no no lie. for my for my job i had to go talk to a 14 year old about having multiple stis i believe that oh. Sure. I did the math. I am technically by biology old enough to be their grandfather. Mm. This is a new frontier for me. I was not <laughs> I was not ready for this. I was like, okay, I could be somebody's daddy. Like I've I've said that for I don't know, fifteen years ish. Maybe twenty years. I mean really once you hit once you hit thirty, you can probably be anybody that daddy I would think. Well, yeah, daddy. But I think granddaddy would probably be have to hit at least forty. Mm, yeah. If he thinks More like, like minimum ages where there there's a possibility. It depends on where in America. Yeah, I've, if everybody was super young, you could probably hit it at like thirty nine. Possibly. Because biology doesn't work around with that. And, and being that everybody's different, but there's at least usually some like specifics where it's kind of like, okay, this probably couldn't happen until at least this age. Bike, yeah, could take longer for some other people. Here comes a burp somewhere. I think maybe. Uh, here we go. <laughs> good lead up. Good lead up. It, here's the thing is during power hours I expect burps and I expect you to try to make them as loud as possible uh, I actually kind of find burps attractive but it can only be weird that way thank you that was not on prompt just for the record <laughs> I've been muting myself the whole time I'm really hard well, well, I would oh, there we go. wow Jeez. I would burp on camera, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do it. 
I just had to move to the bedroom for that because Cedric is cutting something. I don't want to break his concentration. Oh, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> By the way, your your your, your partner is. A, by your way, your partner uh, Cedric is such a cutie. I will let him know you said that. And he, he, no, he, he's a little cutie, isn't he? He's like a pocket cub almost, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's a he, he's a pocket puppy. I love him. He's so Aww. cute. He's adorable. I don't know if I know who this is. Cedric. Smashy's the Smashy's partner. I think I do, but I don't know. Yeah, I gotta link that Twitter account. Y'all know what's going on. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna do this, you gotta let us troll. I mean, we're all like shirtless, so it kind of like really doesn't matter nowadays. And uh, my voice changed just because I was drinking. I don't know. So I, I do have to say to is, yeah, we're at that was fifty. Yeah, so we got ten more to okay. go. I just realized who's Ooh. missing this year. Who's that? Speaking of fifty plus, uh, Drew. Oh yeah, Drew, bitch! You said happy birthday to me. Where are you on the power hour? Uh, if I re if I know what's happening, I believe he's out camping in the woods with with friend with oh, friends okay. and family. So, so um, he's drinking as well, <laughs> probably. Just drinking in a different way. Also, two at least two of us have Apple watches, by the way. Ah. I'm sitting here with my broke out. One, two, watch. three. Any others in the house? Oh, we got three. <clears throat> Not an Apple Watch, but a Fitbit. I have a Fitbit Pro. I'm pretending to get fit. Look, I, it just connects to my phone, so I can see part of my watch. Okay. <laughs> my watch fits on my wrist. That's all I know. That's... <laughs> Fossil Android watch here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You're one of those guys. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody guys. is welcome. Guys, what's the watch? I use it myself. <laughs> guys, what's a phone? I use the sky. Old timers, <laughs> Owen. A watch is the thing you wear around your wrist, and at the last <laughs> moment, if you're really in a pinch, it can be used as a cock ring. So, whoa! Yeah, I, I never okay, thought of this. <laughs> <either. laughs> um, we need to talk about this right now. This is very important. Um, using a watch oh. as a cock ring. Most most of my watches have been the metal bands. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, you got a point. No, no, there. no, 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 no. no. Uh, Charles, not with that attitude, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think somewhere along the lines, I might have mismeasured, but not by much. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I'm like, how am I so far off? Well, you do have to keep in mind that when you're drinking like this, your measurements might be slightly off. Because we're at 53 in about... So technically, you should have about... Uh, Mass hurts. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should have seven left. So based off of this, no, I measured correctly. I'm fine. No, wait a minute. One, two, three. My four, favorite year is five. the year Jeff did six 12 ounce cans in an hour, and he's like. He's like, yay, I got it done. And I was like, no, you drank more. <laughs> I was like, you nah, drank 72 wrong. ounces in 60 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, my measurements, and I think this is partially because I've been drinking. I think I'm one or two ounces off. To be fair, that's pretty damn good.
And now also, here's the to, thing. Also, ahead, to be fair, uh, I will say yeah. this. I'm one out. I am concerned for our youth because I went to five years of college and I graduated. And I never even heard of a power hour. So I cannot imagine what it's like to be 20 or just under 20 something and to think our, our, that you literally have to drink a shot every single hour or every minute of a, a, like 60 consecutive no, minutes. That's only for a power hour. Otherwise, you know, it's up to you. However you want to no, 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 I know that. But like considering I used to go to parties where people were doing coke in another room there was an orgy on the third floor like good times <laughs> i've never really heard of a power hour but we had the closest thing was uh, the century club with sushi which see how long you can last on that one <laughs> yeah. that was a bad idea is that a hundred um yeah, it's a hundred, but it's one per minute. Yeah. Oh. So that's an that's an hour and forty minutes nonstop. Yeah, the way I'm off by a shot. Now what I didn't tell you, Jeff, is that uh we actually have lined up for you. Oh, Charles has rejoined. We have, we have two Charles. Nice. That's okay, hold on. Boop. There we go. That's my, that's a bit better. <laughs> now Owen's in the middle. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not sure if that's where you prefer. But... He is surrounded by love. I'm I don't sure see him complaining. So... so we should only have four. I mean, I mean, there's all the. Looks just eye candy around me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, all the so another one that you could extract right now. In other words, he has no reason to, to complain. Mental note: Dos Equis is a good beer to do a power hour for with. For with with above below beside I'm like yeah. something like that. Mental notes, don't ever do this in supermarket again. By the way, I haven't been keeping track of the chat. No one has chatted anything, so whatever. Uh, nothing in the live stream and nothing in the actual room for chat besides me. Oh, I should have sent that over to the live... Sorry about everybody in the live chat. Hold on. I will send you the link to the uh, pornographic game that you can play later. You did that, didn't you? Yay! No, no, no. Not in the live stream for the for YouTube. Oh. If I download this, it will be on my itch.io account, and I use that for professional boring things. <laughs> Sucks. So, Cisco said he'll send pics eventually. He's just about to start getting his tattoo. Hey. Uh, let's see. Oops, forgot the shot. We're down to like three, right? Something like that? And yeah, we're uh, about to hit one, uh, 58, so three more. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was right. I was off by one ounce. <laughs> to be fair, I will have drinking my uh, five beers uh, at the next one. So I did do some mis, -me mis measurement somewhere, <laughs> but I do have to say that because I've been using Dosekis instead of like Shinerbach or something else. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. You're always one step above what you think you're doing. Uh, Just answer. Yeah. That's probably true. So, the thing I learned in the very first year of doing the Power Hour is that you do not do anything with a high percentage of ABV. Yeah, Alcohol by idea. volume is your mortal enemy in a Power Hour. Followed quickly by carbonation. This is true. Probably bad choice. Oh, AJ. It's okay, AJ. This, you're young. You can handle it. It's fine. This is the last 
the uh, second to the last one. Well, so that's true. As you more. get older, your liver could probably process less. So, uh, probably. <sighs> Depends on how well you've trained it. Yeah. Or, or something. I have not trained it. <laughs> well, I suppose that's fair. I don't feel my lips anymore. <laughs> my headache's completely gone. I mean, now that you say that, I think you're right. <laughs> and this is not an endorsement because this is a non-consensual comment I'm going to make, but now's the time, so. <laughs> Cheers, squares. We have made it. Yay! For a complete power. Hour. I think we broke Lloyd. <laughs> a little, but I still stand. <laughs> he was not ready for that last comment. That was, that was fun. Just, just not ready. Uh, the power the, back I will good. have to say that I did do an ounce into my six beer, but I hadn't done my six, full six beer. So that's good. So you were you were just a little over. You know what? As they say, and that's one for it's good better measure. than that. Yeah, it, it's better than nothing, right? Right. True. It, it, it's, it's better than. Uh, the being like two or three or four or an entire bottle into the six beer, but I'm also glad that I had the six beer handy just in case I mismeasured somewhere. Yeah. All right, everybody, I gotta run, but um, happy birthday, guys. Yeah. Thank you, yes. Edward. Happy birthday, um, Jeff. Thank you for for coming. Uh, I, I we won't get I into coming. Guys. Yes, and I... I can see uh, someone in the chair behind you. What? Oh. No, Jeff's chair. What? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I have no... I, I have a... <laughs> I'm about to say, Edward, you're like one of my favorite guest stars. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. That's okay. I <laughs> have a message. He, he'll see that. this later. Um... But uh, thank uh, you for all for joining me in my power hour to celebrate my birthday. It is meant to uh, just to be something fun, not something you should do every day. I don't recommend uh, absolutely it to be not. an everyday occurrence. I don't know. Like 2020 has been bad enough. Like maybe I mean, so. that's fair enough. <laughs> but one of um, my one of my favorite moments from a, I don't know about five years ago, Jeff. You remember this? You did your power hour, and then you suggested privately, we should do one for each of the hosts. And both Dave and I were like, fuck no! We were like, <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. Have a good night. Alright. Nice good night. Nice love you. Uh, uh, yeah. It, I, I suppose I probably did just because I was drunk and having fun. No, 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 no. David and I realized part of the problem is your birthday is in August. David's birthday is in, in, is in the second half of October. And my birthday is in the first half of November. And we were like, that is just a little Three too close. Three months in a row? <laughs> yeah. If we were more spread out through the year, maybe, maybe it would have been a little bit better. Yeah. Like if we could at least skip a good, you know, like 60 days in between, maybe, but... So, folks, that was the power hour. We have Joshua Pangborn. By the way, stop over to uh, Psychic Productions YouTube because it's got a lot of great content. I personally can't watch it because of embarrassing content, but that's a me thing. <laughs> it's it's not a them thing. It's a what me thing. What the hell does that mean? Yeah. What is this uh, embarrassing content business? Uh, there are several times when I was watching uh, Skeleton Crew and I just had to like pause or like try to skip through it or something where I, I was just like, I can't watch this, but that's amazing. It's not a show. It means that it's hilarious and funny and they've got Demon Doctor, they've got the Power Hour with Nikia, by the way, Nikia, uh, a semi-finalist for uh, The Voice Season 1. And just an amazing guy overall, and 
Needless to say, I've seen him naked and also um, his partner naked. Needless to say, uh, they are very hot and, and sexy people. As but in any I, case, I the Psychic Productions Power Hour, we're, I, I believe you were talking about the Skeleton Crew uh, uh, shows, is that right? Yeah, we, we, we rewatched an episode, I talked about behind the scenes of it and how we made it, and uh, we're turning down to season five. Uh, yeah, so definitely check them out. Uh, they're awesome content. I have problems personally, but that's amazing. And it's more of I can't can't watch it because I have a problem embarrassing comment moments. But if you don't, this is definitely something you should watch. And Joshua is just just sweet and cute guy. So um, uh, his content is amazing. So I definitely recommend that you pop over to them. If you notice that Cubs Out Loud has us like has it linked as friends to Psychic Productions, so you can click to, directly to them. And we've also deemed Josh because he's such a cutie uh, as a previous uh, a, uh, a a pedestal person. I think currently Ed is still on there, but you know, yes, they're all pretty much equal in haughtiness. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm yeah, it can be. Kind of drunk. Um, so definitely <laughs> check them out. <laughs> what? No. And of course, we've got friends and patrons uh, uh, joining us on here. Uh, join our entourage chat at tinyworld.com slash seawall uh, entourage. Uh, pop over to our website, cubsoutloud.com. Shoot us an email, oh. cubsoutloud at gmail.com. Uh, voicemail, 361 seawall talk at 361-265-8255. Sexy or otherwise, we don't care. If you want to give us a horror thing, that's fine. We might put it on the show. Uh, you can find us very social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, uh, other places I can't think of right now because I don't have a, some sort of doc to, to prompt me for it. <laughs> tinyworld.com slash telegram dash col for our telegram chat where you can actually get links to such things as joining us for this hangout. Or this Google. You've only been doing this for ten and a half fucking years. Yeah, I think I would have it, but I'm. Look, I've been drinking for the last hour. <laughs> oh, okay. So now we're going to use sixty ounces of alcohol as an excuse as to why you can't remember the thing you've been saying day, like weekly, weekly for weekly. year after, like, in and out. Should, yeah. Uh, we also got uh, a plenty of uh, merchandise over at dot com slash comes out loud. Uh, and that zazzle dot whatever dot cup comes out loud because I want to make sure don't that people whatever. don't understand. <laughs> well, no, no, because like Lloyd, where do you this get your zazzle real. merchandise? You don't get it at zazzle dot com. You no, get it I at zazzle dot co dot uk, right? Yes, that is true. I do get it differently. So yeah, so it's really the same store, but for different uh, countries. But if you go to zazzle dot com slash uh, it comes out loud. Just scroll down to the bottom. There's a way to change your your uh, country if you need to. But just zazzle that whatever slash comes out loud, and you get stuff such as Smashy was here. He had to leave, but you know whatever. Uh, you needed to leave. Um, but you can get merchandise um, such as Smashy stuff and like the uh, comes out loud a hat that Gary is uh, just put on. The um, it doesn't really fit in the moment. Yeah, but the consent is my foreplay, which we have many different flag versions of the shirt, uh, and comes out loud logos right there. Uh, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash comes out loud. Uh, you can also uh, just send us money if you want to. If you don't have any specific reason to, it's paypal.me slash comes out loud. Right? People let me. I don't got a thing up. PayPal.me slash comes out loud, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Otherwise, you can find me anywhere on the internet as box tech box, 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 something or other. Gary? Uh, if you would like to find me online, you can pretty much find me anywhere as Gamer73. Except on Twitter, if you want to follow the non poor, non drag stuff, uh, it would actually be at GM Spider. Because I forgot that I. Never said that Mark correctly. Gabriel, somebody else who hasn't used Twitter in seven years has my handle. So, anyways. in <laughs> Twitter about that. Uh, any of you guys want to plug anything? 
I mean, I pl kind of plug Sidekick Productions for you, Josh, but anything oh, else? Perfect, thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll, I'll plug. Uh, I do a bunch of Twitch streaming and stuff like that as well. Um, and you can find me pretty much everywhere on the internet as Chuck AW 1977. Anybody else, or are you pretty much just like, hey, I'm a fan of Cubs Out Loud. Just watch the Cubs Out Loud stuff. I'm just a guy. Don't worry about me. Okay. Boring as heck. <laughs> hey, I'm just a dude. Don't need them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about following Odo. Follow and we love AJ for being our friend. Aww. He's a cutie. We, He's the best buff in the world. He is such a good puppy. <laughs> He's such a good puppy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just switch to the post show. Uh, I'm not doing our little normal thing. So good night. Say good night, everybody. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>